A chemical waste mixture consisting of four principal organic hazardous constituents is incinerated at 1538 degrees Fahrenheit. The feed stream is as follows. If 87% of the chlorine in the feed is converted to hydrogen chloride, the hydrogen chloride flow rate before control is approximately A. 70 B. 60 C. 50 or D. 40 Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll be discussing some principles of combustion. Combustion, or burning, is a high temperature exothermic redox chemical reaction between a fuel and an oxidant, usually atmospheric oxygen that produces oxidized, often gaseous products, in a mixture term as smoke. Combustion in a fire produces a flame and the heat produced can make combustion self-sustaining. Combustion is often hot enough that light in the form of either glowing or flame is produced. A simple example can be seen in the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen into water vapor, a reaction commonly used to fuel rocket engines. This reaction releases lots of heat energy and reduces the enthalpy accordingly when occurring at constant temperature and pressure. Complete combustion is stoichiometric with respect to the fuel, where there is no remaining fuel and ideally no remaining oxidant. Thermodynamically, the chemical equilibrium of combustion in air is overwhelmingly on the side of the products. However, complete combustion is almost impossible to achieve since the chemical equilibrium is not necessarily reached or may contain unburnt products such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and even carbon in the forms of soot or ash. Thus, the produced smoke is usually toxic and contains unburned or partially oxidized products. So looking at our question, we are calculating the flow rate of hydrogen chloride, which was converted from 87% of the chlorine in the stream. So looking at what's in our waste stream, only one of the constituents has chlorine in it, which is chlorobenzene. This will be the focus of our calculations. To calculate the flow rate, we need to understand the stoichiometry of the combustion reaction, which is below. As we discussed during the chalkboard session, Atmospheric oxygen is usually the oxidant during combustion, and for organic constituents there will result some carbon dioxide, water, and other products depending on what is being combusted. So now we need to balance this equation to see how much hydrogen chloride is produced from chlorobenzene. Today we will use the algebraic method to figure out the coefficients for each product and reactant to balance our chemical reaction. There's four steps to using this method. First of all, we will assign each reactant and product an arbitrary variable, for example A, B, or C. Next, we will create equations for each atom represented in the chemical equation. So we will have four equations, one for carbon, hydrogen, chlorine, and oxygen. We will look at our equations and choose the one that has the most isolated variable and assign that variable to each one. Lastly, we will go through each equation solving for all of the variables starting from the one variable we assigned as one and then place the variables in front of constituents we assigned that variable to as coefficients. Sounds like a mouthful. Well, let's solve this equation. So we will assign our two reactants and three products variables we will solve for. I am using A through E as my variables. Next, we will create equations for each atom represented in the chemical equation. So for each one, I am taking the number of atoms for that specific variable on the reactant side and equaling it to the number of atoms for any variable on the product side. For example, for oxygen, I have the equation 2B equals C plus 2E because for the oxygen on the reactant side, I assigned it to the variable of the letter B and we have two oxygen atoms for that. On the right for the products I assigned as letter C, I only have one oxygen atom. And for the product label as the letter E, there's two oxygen atoms. Now that we have completed our equations, let's see which ones we can use to start our solving process. The one for chlorine, 
which is a equals d, looks very simple. So we will assign the variable a equaling one. Therefore, d also equals one. We can now start the process of solving for these variables. Looking at the carbon equation, if the variable e is six times a, then e equals six. Looking at the hydrogen equation, if a and d equals one, then c equals two. And going to the oxygen equation, if C equals two and E equals six, then B equals seven. We now have solved for all of our variables. If you do this for other combustion equations and your numbers are not whole, simply multiply them by the least common multiple until you have all whole numbers. We can now place the variables in front of the constituents we assigned that variable to as coefficients. Now that we have our equation balanced, we see that one mole of hydrogen chloride is produced for every one mole of chlorobenzene in the feed stream. We will do a quick calculation to calculate what that mass flow rate is, and we get 126 pounds per hour of HCl in the feed stream. But remember that the problem states that only 87% of the chlorobenzene will convert to hydrogen chloride, and that the answer is to be seek in kilograms per hour. We make these conversions and we get an answer of 49.74 kilograms per hour, which is closest to C. Join us for episode 18 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.